Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to keep your audience engaged with the Zoom feature in PowerPoint. Sometimes you might have really long presentations. Uh, this one's not that long, it's, but it, it could be longer where we have different sections. And there's different sections or different topics uh, with the detailed slides that follow it. And you want to keep your audience kind of stay centered. So every time you go to your next section or topic, you want to keep your audience centered on the whole picture. And you can help them stay centered on the main topics or categories by using the Zoom feature. So it's something like this. So now I have this presentation. I've got three sections with the detailed slides. And if I go into presentation mode and start delivering the presentation, I can click here and this would be the summary slide. So I can click on this slide. It's going to zoom in and I'll go through the different slides. There's five slides here. It's going to zoom back out to the summary slide. People in your audience can kind of get the whole picture again, go into my second topic, my second section, go through the different slides. It zooms back out after it finishes that section. And I click on my third section, go through and it will zoom back out to the landing page here where people kind of get the idea of all the topics again. So this is a great way to be able to kind of center your audience. So let's see how we can do this. So I'm back in my presentation without the sections. I can be either in the slides sort of view or the normal view. I'll be in the normal view so you can see the slides here on the left. And all I need to do is click on insert and zoom and we want to create a summary zoom. So what it's going to do is because it's going to create a summary slide with the different sections you want to choose. So when I click on that, it's going to have a window where we want to identify those slides where we want to have zoom focus on and create sections for them. Right now you don't see any sections here. Let me cancel out and go back into the slides overview, right? And make this a little bit smaller. There is no categorization of sections. PowerPoint hasn't done that yet, but if we go back and go through slide zoom, it's going to do that. Go back to insert, go into zoom, summary zoom, and I want to pick section one here, and I want to pick section two here, and section three. So it's going to create a summary slide, a landing page now. This landing page is summary section, and you've noticed now that it has sectioned off those slides. If I right click on one of the sections and collapse everything, you'll notice that now we have the section. Section one are these five slides. Well, let's put it into slides sort of view. You see it easier, all right? Section one are these five slides, or including the section slide. Section two are these slides, and section three, right? So now it's sectioned it off, and it's created the summary slide. So let's go back into normal view, and if I go into the PowerPoint presentation, and I click on section one, it's going to go through the different sections. One, two, three, four, five. Same thing with section two. And then one, two, three, four, five. And I'll press escape just to get out of that. And by default, what it's done is it's taking a snapshot picture of that slide. You can see that it looks like that slide, right? Each one is a slide, a picture of that slide. We can change that if we don't want to have that view. There are things that we can do to change the look and feel of it. So if I click on the one of them, go to zoom up here, we can change the background, we can just give it a border, right, you can give it an orange border, there's a lot of things you can do it, you, you can you can take these these uh, zoom styles, these uh, predefined styles here, you can change the effects, you can give it a, uh, let's give it something really wild so you can see it, you can give it that 3D effect, or you can just take the background off, you can take the background off here so you don't see the lines or the formatting, right, and so that's one way we can do it. Another way we can do it is if we don't like to have that particular slide image, we can we can give it another image. Control Z to undo that. And what we can do, let's say I just want the images of the circles here. So I can go into each one. Let's go into that one. Save this as an image, right click. Save that as a picture. I'll just take the default picture one setting, save that. Go into my next section and save that one as a picture. Let's save this one as a picture too. Right click, save as picture. It's given the default name here, save that. Let's go into section three and save that one as a picture. Right click, save picture, and click save. Now I can go back into my summary section, click on the first one there, go into zoom and change picture. And I look for the picture that I saved for that first one. Click on it, click insert 
And now that picture's there, do the same thing for this one. Change image from file. Picture two, click insert. And picture three, change picture from a file. Picture three, click insert. And now I have these images instead of that snapshot of each of the individual slides. So but now this, I'll give this a title. Uh, title, I don't know. Something non-creative. Now when I go into presentation mode, if I click and start the presentation, I click on it, this first image will click to that section. I go through the different pages. It zooms back out to the summary slide or the landing page. Click on that one. One, two, three, four, five. Click on my third summary slide from the landing page and I go through these pages and it'll take me back to the summary and then it ends. And that's using the zoom feature and it gives the audience when you have a big presentation kind of a way to center back on a landing page and it gives your audience an overall picture of the presentation. So using the zoom feature in PowerPoint is a good way to keep your audience engaged with the main topics of your presentation. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.